So we're here today to make a beer for Savor. It's a beer food pairing event. Well, last year there was a beer made for uh, the guests. So this year, Sierra Nevada and Boulevard kind of collaborate on a beer. So I think it's fun to go around and try that much good food and that much good beer all in one place. I mean, one thing that Savor's tried to do and I think has done a great job of is, is really raise the stature of, of beer. I think our R&D starts at a table kind of this size, <laughs> filled with glasses, uh, with, with our brewers, and then everybody's got input and we take it from there. Yeah, that Sometimes. works as well. I love yeah. that. That's the basic r &D. It's good to create a beer over a beer. It is. It is. We were really not looking for a particular style. We were just kind of brainstorming and looking at the strengths from each brewery and what do people think about when they think about Sierra Nevada, what do they think about when they think about Boulevard. I think when you think about Boulevard, it's wheat, uh, Missouri. And you have a lot of experience with uh, the barrel aspect of it, right. and also the use of Britannomyces. Yeah. And yeah. so that's definite strength uh, from Boulevard. From our end, we were looking at uh, something, you know, from a post-fermentation hopping, you know, being an ale brewery, uh, hop-centric a little bit. Um, we had some of our um, estate malt left. Uh, from our estate homegrown uh, ale where all the ingredients are grown on our property. We wanted to contribute the remnant of that to this project uh, from our part of the heritage. So it was, it, much of anything it's a combination of the brewery strengths and uh, a little bit what we're known for culminating in the beer here. We knew that because of the name that we came up with, uh, we knew we wanted to have earthiness in there, so we came up with a darker color, a more dark brownish color. You know, we've already, we've done two different beers that we've never tasted together. Uh, we've manipulated those beers, which we haven't tasted individually. And now we're gonna do uh, a blend and a further manipulation with the Britannomyces that'll take us into an area that we have no conjecture about what the final product will be. Because really, you don't know what Bretonomyces is going to do. No. It's not like a cat. Friend. You have no idea yeah. what it's going to do. So it's really <laughs> unknown lands. Well, for us, it's been a, a great uh, time to, to share stories and to get together and talk about beer. Um, we've got mutual admiration for each other's companies, and, and it's been uh, great for us to get to do something together and join. You know, it's just been a good uh, working relationship over the years. and and uh, hope that that continues on through the future. Uh. Uh, the work that we're doing here, this is the epitome of craft brewing to me, you know. Shared experiences and shared knowledge, working with people that uh, you've known for a long time, have friendships with, and to get together and create something as delicious as what we did today, it's as good as it gets.